Hey guys, it's Becky. I am back with another process video. Today I am going to pull out the Honey I'm Home collection for this layout. As you can see right here, I am actually dumping them out of one of those plastic folders. It's I think it's like 13 by 13 folder and just going through all the bits that I had put in there from the last time I used it. I am going to settle on three papers to use, but at first I'm going to go through what I have because I just kind of, when I put this collection up, I just kind of threw them all into this one envelope willy nilly. I mean, it's, it's a mess. You see all those scraps laying? It's a mess. So I am going to kind of clean this up just a little bit before I can get started on my layout. Probably I should have picked out the papers first and then hit record, right? Yeah. I did not do any planning. It is just not the Becky way. Probably I ought to implement a little bit more planning in 2018, you think? I think that might be a, a good idea. Right here I am showing you a sketch I think I'm going to be using. Actually, no, Becky, you are going to use it. I am using that sketch from Creative Scrappers. And then I'm going to show you the three papers I settled on to pull out. I am going to go ahead and back my photos <laughs> yeah, I actually thought I was going to do it on the plant side of this. I am not. I am going to back them on that wood paper, that wood grain paper with the stripes on it. I will get there right here. It's the other side of that plant paper. I do like the plant side of that paper, and I have cut out a couple of those little plants, but I really like this side. It is kind of a wood grain and there have it has multicolor stripes on it. It's really cute. I really do like that paper a lot. But then I do like stripes. Now I do prefer diagonal stripes, but I like horizontal and vertical stripes as well, but diagonal is my favorite. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and back those photos again on this navy blue paper which is also kind of stripey. Now they're not traditional stripes they are just rows of dots that kind of make it look like it's a stripe right and then I'm going to put that base onto this yellow paper with the floral right like that. Now I am going to be using for my background I used that marshmallow cardstock and the only reason I used that one was because I was too lazy to get up and pull out a basic American Crafts cardstock, you know, just your run of the mill basic kind of white cardstock. I was lazy, so I did kind of waste a piece of the marshmallow cardstock because there is not any mixed media on here. I am going to do some splatters, but I don't even count that as mixed media. Alright, so I am going to put another piece of this wood grain striped piece and then on top of that I am going to put another strip of the navy blue. Now I don't recall, because I don't have the sketch in front of me, but I don't recall if really the sketch called for all those bits at the bottom or not, but it doesn't matter, that's what I end up doing. Right like that. All right, so here I had taken a bunch of the ephemera and I put them, I collected them and gathered them and put them in this little baggie and I am taking out pieces I think I might want to use. That yellow piece right there, I can't remember what it says and I can't see it from where I'm at. I think it says something about being perfect. I did keep that on the page for quite some time, but it's going to go away, but I really wanted to use it. I mean, I thought it was, it was, it was a perfect piece, but I didn't love it on top of the photo. But then when I was going to put it up above the photo, there's that yellow paper there. So it kind of blended in and I just didn't want to fuss with it, right? That flare down there, it is a puffy sticker and I am going to keep it. I'm trying to get some of those frames in and none of them do make it. I do love frames though. But those ones, the frames that I have with this collection, they don't make it on this layout. Okay, so this video is going to go up on February 3rd. I hope everybody had a great January. That month has wrapped up for you guys. I'm actually doing this voiceover on January 11th. And 
it is a Thursday. So last Saturday is when Bailey had her stroke. She is still not back to 100%. She's still in the animal hospital. She still can't use the left side of her body, but now her head turns. So, I mean, that's good. We are going to go ahead and bring her home to spend the weekend with us because the the vet thinks that in her own surroundings she might start to come out of it a little bit more. Now she can't stay here during the week because we work and she's not mobile so she would just be laying in her own pee all day. We, I'm not going to do that to my dog. So we, I will take her back to the vet on Monday but I do get to have her for a weekend so that's pretty, pretty cool. I can't wait to get her back home. Jim, I had a, my biopsy was today and on the way back from there, we took two different cars. He went with me, but we just met there because I, I went to work this morning and, you know, went there when it was time. Anyway, on the way home, he stopped at the Pet Smart and got her a new dog bed and some treats and different things like that for her. He really misses her, but he also got her some little doggy diapers. <laughs> There's so cute diapers for dogs <laughs> because she can't stand. So she can't get up and go pee, right? I mean, I will take her outside and, you know, see if she'll pee for me, but probably she won't. So he got her some do doggy diapers. All right, guys. So I showed you those chipboard alphas. And what I did was I peeled off, I think, what were they, zebra print or something? I peeled off that print and I used my Kelly Perky ink in blue and kind of dabbed it on the top and just changed them to blue. Here I'm going to go ahead and build this cluster down here at the bottom. I used a Tim Holtz die and cut out some little tag shapes, very, very small tag shapes. Put the puffy sticker on top. I am going to put some twine through there, through one of the tags. The other tag I cover up with a little piece that I had fussy cut out of one of the papers in the 6x6 pad that says Good Times. And I'm going to put it right down there at the bottom. I really like how that cluster turned out. I love the puffy stickers in this collection. They're really nice. All right, so down here at the bottom, I am spelling out kind of a subtitle. And I would like to tell you what it says, but it's in Spanish. And I don't read Spanish. Plaza de Toros de la Mestranza. It's the, the bull ring. I think Miss Drums is, I don't even know. Tauros is the bull. I know, I'm just horrible. You would have thought I would learn Spanish right now, but I did not. I took a puffy sticker underneath that big seal that says loving this life, and it's green. I don't know why I put it there. There's really not any other green on here. Well, I guess the centers of those, the flowers on that yellow paper are green, but for some reason, I just thought I needed another bop of green. I was feeling green this day. Up there at the top, I put another piece up Ugh, another piece that I had fussy cut and this one says happy chaos this one was cut out of a larger paper though so it's in a larger scale than that good times that's down there at the bottom I am going to pop the top the top part of that up on some foam tape just to give it a little bit of dimension I was picking up looking at it. Do I like this? All right, so I'm going to pull out those watercolors. What are they called? Ganzai Tombi watercolors and give the dark blue a splatter around the page. And I used a brush that was too big. That's how I got the biggest splatters. I should have used a smaller brush, but I didn't. So we're just going to have to roll with it. I did pull out some sequins that are blue and some that are yellow, and I'm going to scatter those around the page. Some of them I'm going to put over some of the big spots, like I put a yellow one over that really big spot right down there, and actually I do that on two of those really big spots down there, I put a yellow over. So I'm just going to spread them out around in those three clusters. Up at the top I think I only put two though. This one down here has a few. And I do put a couple at the end of that subtitle. 
underneath that subtitle I did use my stamp my roller date stamp that was from one canoe Two, and I stamped out the date September 10th 2017 and then in a pencil I just wrote James and Rebecca bidding on it all right guys after I do that I do not do anything else to this layout I want to thank you so much for joining me please like comment and subscribe and I will see you next time bye guys mm -hmm.